Hello everyone, this is under chapter 4, part 2, deflection. So this video will show you procedure to assessing deflection for reinforced concrete. So let's start. So in the Euro code for control deflection, you can refer to the clause 7.4. Eurocode part 1 1. So, first, you need to determine the basic ratio of L over D to control deflection to a maximum of spent over 250. L over 250. So, this is two situation. Okay, the first one where this value is less than this uh, value and this, this is the second situation. Okay, if required tension reinforcement ratio is less or equal to the reference reinforcement ratio, so you need to use this equation to calculate the allowable L over D. But if the required tension reinforcement ratio is more than reference reinforcement ratio, our L over D allowable is calculated using this equation. And this required tension reinforcement ratio is determined using this equation, this value is determined using this equation a as required divided by b d and then this reference reinforcement ratio is calculated using this equation And this is this is here okay mm, this one okay this is required compression reinforcement ratio and this value is calculated using this equation a as required so this is the secondary the the, the area for the compression and uh, reinforcement divided by BD. This is for the tension reinforcement, the calculated area. So this both is determined under flagellar reinforcement. Okay. Then this K, this K, K is the factor of the structural system. And this K is determined from table 7.4 in euro code based on the structure system okay so in that euro code there are five structure system and our case uh, this is for the rectangular beam let's say for the rectangular beam for simply supported beam the k is equal to one if for continuous beam k is equal to 1.3 so first you need to calculate this one this value and then this reference reinforcement ratio then you make the this comparison then from this comparison then you will select either this equation or this equation to calculate the ratio of l over d for allowable the next step is to check The modified in particular cases as follows. So there are three situations here. So the first one, 
for the flange section. If designed uh, for the flange beam, so we need to check this situation. Okay, if the ratio of the flange width to the web width exceed 3, then L over D from this equation must multiply with 0 0.8. Then for the rectangular beam or for, for beam or slab, where this slab is other than flat slab, if the span L is more than 7 meter, the span of the beam or slab is more than 7 meter. Thus, the ratio of L over D calculated earlier should be multiplied with 7 over L. And the third situation is where the tension reinforcement is provided more than the required reinforcement. Then the calculated L over D from this part must be multiplied with AS provided divided by AS required. So, but this ratio must be less than 1.5. Okay, then finally, finally. After we check this three situation, this three situation, okay, so the final is for the allowable L over D, and this L over D is equal to L over D allowable calculated earlier from this part, L over, L over D here, multiply with 7 over L, if the span is more than 7 meter, 7 over L, and multiply with AS provided divided by AS required. This is the modi modified span, and this is the modified steel area. So again, I repeat, finally, the allowable ratio for L over D is the L over D calculated earlier from this equation. Multiply with the modification factor span. Multiply with the modification factor area. And finally, this allowable is compared with actual deflection ratio. We where you need to this situation must meet the the ratio for L over D allowable must more than L over D actual. Actual is, uh, let's say your span is 8 meter and the D dub is 200. So 8000 divided by 200. 8000 divided by 200. So that is the actual. So this is for deflection checking for reinforced concrete design. Thank you.